So all too often we come across fences we're replacing typically where somebody has one way or another attached the fence to the house. Bad idea. This is a bad idea. It's a terrible idea for so many reasons. For so many reasons, no. If you're putting holes in their siding, well, siding's supposed to keep water out. Once you put a hole in there, it's gonna leak. You take out that old fence and you wanna put it somewhere else, now you have a, well, usually a stripe of missing paint and holes in your house. It doesn't make any sense to do it that way. It's not that difficult to go ahead and set a post next to your house. This one here, we hand dug it down. We did find some pretty good sized rocks. You run into that sometimes when they're backfilling a, a footer. They take all the boulders they found on the job site and put them in there. Go ahead, dig a hole, set it in concrete or however you want to do it. One of the problems you do run into fairly often is you run into a footer. They're usually about two feet, sometimes deeper. If they're deeper, that's not a problem, but about two feet or a foot, you have a problem. The way we get around that, we have plates with holes in them. You can weld the post. You can do this with cedar fences as well because we use the metal post for cedar fence. We have styles with two holes. In this case, it's four holes. The vinyl fence, we'd set this post. Go ahead and drill your holes in your footer, run some lags in there or concrete anchors, however you like. Use a post stiffener. They slide over, they clamp to the post. Your vinyl post will slide over top of that. It holds it nice and sturdy. And then just backfill it with dirt. Yeah, cedar fences, you would do the same. You just set your, your metal post up tight and you'll trim it out just like normal. We actually had a house where a local gentleman assembled the fence and he did pretty much everything wrong he could have possibly done. And one of them was, I don't think he actually attached to the house. He did attach to his neighbor's fence, which isn't as bad as a house, but it's still not good because it's, it's not, not your fence. He actually came out and had a wing of like maybe two feet a post and then nothing. That wing was just hanging there. And on the other side, he had just a four by four sitting on the ground and a two by four touching it. They weren't attached. I was surprised it was still there. If you're curious what that looks like and why not to do it, that's a good, a good video to reference. Like I say, it's not that difficult. Just dig a hole. I don't know why people think it's a good idea to attach to a house. It's not. There's no reason for it. It's just a bad idea. You have a good dang day.